So finally Paranoid Android, a customer based on Android 12.1 is finally here and a lot of devices already know about this one, a lot of users already know about this one. This is one of the famous custom rooms and yes known as the performance based custom room. So this is what we have right now. The first look is here and available for the Mio 2 device users as an official version which we have installed so we have the hands on. Let's move on to the default things here. As this is Paranoid Android, which means AOSPA, and all the AOSPA wallpapers or uh, official wallpapers are already included. Paranoid Android version Sapphire Beta 2, which has uh, the March security patch, but it's based on Android 12.1. The Easter egg is, of course, as expectedly, we have uh, the Android 12 style, but all the Android 12.1 features are already included. For example, uh, the quick settings panel, which is basically a notifications panel and same like that all those animations, new animations. If we move on to the default launcher as quickly as possible, we don't have the pixel launcher pre-installed as expectedly. And the launcher which we have here is the Paranoid launcher and the Paranoid launcher is also available as a port for uh, some of the Android 12 devices as a magic module. It also includes some developer options. In developer options, you have some bit of extra things, for example, some extra features for you which if you know you can use those but if you are not aware of these things i recommend you not to use any feature from there because it might give you any kind of other issues so if you don't know what you're doing simply ignore it but if you know what it is and how you can customize your device with this de these developer options go and customize right now this was about the default launcher which we have installed in this one if you take a look at the safety net status this is actually one of the best things about this one safety net status is actually passing here also i tried safety net status by two things for example by default without rooting my device the safety net status was passing and after rooting as i've installed magis 24.3 right now on my device zygisk is enabled universal safety net fix is also installed and a safety net status is actually passing so i'll be able to use banking apps on my device here we have the paranoid wallpapers as expectedly i tried using the wallpapers from here it's by default included and all the paranoid android customers we have these options most of the devices will have the unofficial version for you so if your device has the unofficial version and if you want to take a look at you have two sources you can check out on telegram or you can check out on xdk so simply go and explore but if you're a mutual device user link is already in the description make sure to install that and as always all credits goes to the developers this is a wallpaper which i love to use so this is what i have applied by default on my device if you move on to the battery stats what i found here approximately five six seven percent per hour of active drain which was expected kind of and idle drain is actually quite good 0.15 percent most of the time so it's good enough overnight i just got one person and it's actually quite good enough and you also have the battery guru app which i will recommend you so yes if you want to use this you can it's available for free on the google play store and you can see six percent per hour is the discharging rate of course both these stats are something kind of different and as i mentioned earlier we am using the magic solution 24.3 so yes digest is enabled in settings let me show you as you can see and force denialist is also enabled after enabling all these things, if you want to pass safety net status, you need to install the module called Universal Safety Net Fix and how to fix safety net status on your device if you're having any kind of issues. I made a lot of videos already on safety net fix. You can simply search Universal Safety Net Fix Tech Current and you'll find all those videos from my channel. Same like that if you want the camera section, it's not by default. The Gcam which I'm using right now, which has uh, the Monet theming support, it's not by default included, but it's just working flawlessly in almost all the guest rooms in almost all the device gcam by shamim and and all i think so video already made on this one too and the link is already in the description you can find it out and if i move on to the google photo section uh, yes as expectedly google photos as unlimited backup option for you so yes if you want to use the google photos you have the backing up photos and videos from this pixel is free of charge and unlimited so yes another plus point about this one CPU throttling which I tested here of course will give you this kind of things the CPU throttle to 93% of its maximum performance I tried two or three times this was a fine result after a lot of efforts and maximum 160 is the performance which is quite expected this is paranoid android latest beta version unofficial version we might expect these things and last but not the least if I move on to the settings option things are basically same 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल द मॉनर थीमिंग एज एक्सपेक्टली नो वॉल पेपर कलर एक्सट्रैक्टर एंड इफ यू मूव ऑन टू द जस्ट सेक्शन हेयर यू हैव सम बिट ऑफ थिंग्स क्विक टैप एंड दिस इज एक्चुअली वर्किंग पार्शली ऑनस्टली स्पीकिंग इट्स वर्किंग पार्शली Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So as you can see, right now it's not working, but it's fine. It's definitely fine. If I move on to the screen of gestures, these are working perfectly fine. If you want to double tap for a toggle flashlight or wake device, whatever you want to use, it's working perfectly fine. I tried using the toggle flashlight option; it was working perfectly fine. So yes, this might also be positive things about this one. Other than else, things are basically same. Play by control, gestures, etc. Developer options, etc. Same kind of things available here and there. Security also has the uh, fingerprint lock. Sorry, it does not. It does not include the face unlock. It does not include the app lock. Other than else, it's good. This is all. Thanks for watching and goodbye.